welcome to the Kate and Kay show. Today we're looking at the 30th book of the Bible, which is... Amos. Yeah, so how's your day been, Kate? Yeah, yeah. not bad, thank you. Good, yeah. yeah. I've had a really good day because um, someone gave me some mini eggs today. I really love mini eggs. Oh. So I just thought I'd like... Nice. You, know, you know it's a good day when like people give you chocolate. Oh, it smells really, they smell really nice. Yeah, I, I like the white ones. Um, they're really tasty. Yeah, so yeah, it's been a good day. Um, in fact, that wasn't it. That I, someone gave me some more mini eggs as well. I'm not gonna open these ones. Save them to later because it's always good to have stuff stored up wow. for later. I like the pink ones as well. They're really yeah, good. I think the pink ones are my favourite. But I mean, do you think they taste different to each other? Different colours? Could you tell the difference? <laughs> mm. Mm, let me check. That was a white one. Mm. Pink one. Do you know what? They're just all really delicious. Mm. They look really nice. And yeah. like, it's been such a good day. I got, I got given even more of them as well. Look, I got a bag, five little boxes. They come, they're cute boxes as well. Perfect snack size. Some might call this a fun size, mm. but I think it's the least fun of the sizes because it's small. You want the big bags? They're the fun sizes, right? Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy these later. Um, let's find out a bit more about what Amos is all about. Three key phrases to describe the book of Amos are shepherd, prophet, Israel, and call for reform. Amos was writing to the Israelites before the exile. Things were going pretty well for the Israelites. They were enjoying a time of peace. They had good fortune, wealth. The country was doing well. They thought they were really blessed by God. But this was only true of the wealthy. Much like I lauded my haul of mini eggs over Kate and was happy with my lot in life. Things were going well for the wealthy, but they were completely neglecting the poor and allowing the poor to sell themselves into slavery instead of helping them. They were allowing massive injustices to go ahead. Enter Amos, a shepherd from Israel whom God called to leave his sheep and instead go and shepherd the people of Israel. God had a warning for them. He told Amos that if things carried on the way they were, there would be severe consequences. A key verse is Amos 7.15 But the Lord took me from tending the flock and said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. Amos had several visions of God judging the people because of their sin. And one of these visions was of God measuring a wall with a plumb line. When building a wall in those days, they used a plumb line, a piece of string with a weight on the end. Gravity held the string straight and you would build your wall next to it to check that it was straight. And you could use the plumb line to check whether the wall was still straight after some time had passed. Well, in this vision, God was measuring a wall with the plumb line and it was no longer straight. It was crooked. The wall represented the people of Israel. God saw their hearts had become crooked. God had given them laws to teach them to live his way, but they lived their own way. One of the ways they did this was by not caring for the poor, but they were also cheating people and their businesses and they weren't worshipping God properly. Over time, their hearts went from straight to crooked. And what happens to a crooked wall? Eventually, it will crumble and fall. Because the people had stopped living straight, the nation would crumble and fall too. But the book ends with a glimmer of hope that we see in lots of these books of the prophets. God will restore his people. He won't abandon them despite their crookedness, but will rebuild them once again. What's the 30th book of the Bible? Genesis. Exodus. Leviticus. Numbers. Deuteronomy. Joshua. Judges. Ruth. 1 Samuel. 2 Samuel. 1 Kings. 2 Kings. 1 Chronicles. 2 Chronicles. Ezra. Nehemiah. Esther. Job. Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos. Amos.